So this is the Hafer Weppy inspired makeup look. Um, after doing that, I want you to use your fluffy brush. I'm going for the MAC 217 brush and using a sort of highlighter shade, I'm using the MAC Shroom for this as my lighter shade all over the top half. like so. Now spread that all over and almost fluffing it out with your brush. The fluffier the brush the better it is for application of this kind of look. So don't worry about it going onto your brows, we're going to clean those up later on. So just fluff that out all over and towards the bottom half. Now going in with a sort of more reddish brown colour the MAC hue for this and I'm going to just tap that using the same brush along the socket bone so just fluff that out and almost just enhancing your socket with the brush As you can see, I've got green contacts on because I wanted to sort of give that more kind of Hafer Weppy inspired look. Because she does wear, I think, grey contacts though, but I've only got these green ones. Okay, so we've applied that around the socket area. Next, what I'm going to do is using a black cardial like this one. It's This is by Blue Heaven. And it's excellent because the whole thing is a cardial, there's no sort of pencil to sharpen or anything. And I'm going to just literally put that all over the top half of my lid. Just spread it all across. And on the inner corner, all over. And like I usually say, don't worry about this looking messy because we're going to spread that and distribute that nicely using, I'm just using sort of like this dome brush and just sort of smooth and, and spread that out and sort of work towards that upper corner of your eye. So just smoothing that out and then if you've got any crease areas in your eye, which I do, just bring that back and forward until you smooth that out. We're going to put eyeshadow on top of this anyway, so which will smooth out the actual eye makeup in that area, but it's just good to make sure that you have all smooth lines without any creasing. And because we use the paint from MAC to do that, it acts as a primer as well. Okay, once you've done that, I'm going to enhance the waterline, the bottom half of the waterline with this Christian Dior white coal pencil all along the inside of the eye. So all along the inside don't worry if it goes on your lashes, we'll clean that up. And the sort of very Ara Arabian style flick of the white just along the outside. And now to get that very crisp and white, use a white eyeshadow that you have. I'm going for the Artist of Makeup Palette, which is my own makeup palette range. So just a white eyeshadow and just dip that all along that white coal pencil that you just applied. Just reapply, get some more. And what that does, it sort of helps to give you a nice crisp white line as well as helps it last longer and right in there towards the tear duct 
and just sweep that out a little bit more. Once you've done that, going back to your um, sort of dome fluffy brush, just using an aubergine um, type of eyeshadow, I'm going for this one here. It's sort of like an aubergine colour. This is by F Forever Living and it's colour birch number 53 and I'm going to spread that along on top of that black coal that I've just put on earlier and just spread that around and this is the part where you apply the eyeshadow and not necessarily fluffing it out just yet so just Apply that to the inner half and around, sweep hitting. I always say sweep hitting, sweeping it up, <laughs> up towards your crease line. Sweep hitting, that could be a new word, sweeping it up. Okay, so we've done that. And next what you need to do is use a fluffier brush than the one that you applied with, like this one, and just fluff your eyeshadow and soften that right down. Working up again towards that top half of your eye. Again, very catty, this kind of Arabian style Haifa Wahbi makeup look. And then going in with that Hue by MAC on top of what we've just applied and just working up towards your brow with the fluffy brush and just keep fluffing that out. Fluff, fluff, fluff. And just work towards the outer corners and continue to sweep it back and forward, back and forward. And what you could do is slightly apply it to that inner corner just there. Once you've done that, I'm going to go in with the Body Shop Eyeliner. This one which is in black. And I'm just going to line my eyes. I always start at the outer corner. Just above that white line and go out towards the inner corner. Now depending on what you're used to, you can have it quite extended and winged out, which is quite a hateful weppy look that she likes to have and importantly to apply the inner corner there and just along the top like so then what you want to do is take your eyeliner and enhance that tear duct area take it across and at this point, don't worry about being neat because your lashes do get in the way. You can always use a Q-tip for that. And just join that up with the bottom half. I'm just checking the time. I've got like four minutes to complete this look for you so that I don't have to edit. It's not that I'm lazy or anything. It's just that it takes so long to try and edit these things and plus you get to see the real finish of the whole look as well. Okay, I'm just going to tidy that up a little bit with the brush, that corner there, just lift that up a little bit, tidy up any areas. If you have made any sort of mistakes, you can use a Q-tip with a bit of eye makeup remover and just 
clean underneath. I'm just going to use a bit of mascara to just coat the lashes. And I may, for this look, put some false lashes if I have time. So let's see if we have more time on our hands. So just coating the lashes all across. And if you don't have false lashes, just make sure you put two or three coats of mascara for this. And if you want to intensify it even more, you can darken it with a bit more eyeshadow. And then the bottom lashes. Then I'm going to go with my favourite brows a go go eyebrow powder with the darker shade and just neaten up the brows. I'm going to use its own applicator that comes with it because it's quite nice to use that and just fluff that all along your brow line. Depending obviously on the shade of your brows you may need to darken or lighten to accommodate your natural line and colour of your eyebrows. Now with this Brows Go Go they're a bit ready in shade so I'm going to go over them later with the MAC spiked eyebrow pencil. Just checking the time, right I've got two minutes. It's quite adrenaline pumping knowing that you've got to fi finish the look in a certain amount of time. Okay, almost hopefully done. Okay, once you've done that, I'm going to attempt hopefully trying to put on some lashes. I don't know if I'm going to succeed but you know what, I've sort of almost finished the look so I might as well try doing the lashes as well. I'm going to put the brand uh, for these lashes is called Get Lashed, I think. Get Lashed Makeup Lashes. I've put on the glue all along and I'm going to stick that down. Just pop it on. Whoopsie. And make a mess like this. Just pop it on like that. Before you do that, it will feel a little odd because the glue is obviously still a little bit tacky. And then using your tweezers, just gently like so. Pinch that towards the end. Okay, almost done. We're just going to clean up the area with some concealer. I'm using a Gemma Kid brush and a bit of MAC NC20 concealer underneath. And there you go. That's your finished high for Weppy makeup look in, I would say, 15 minutes.